What's up, everybody? Here comes round two of our Saison showdown. If you want to hear the original elimination round, uh, listen to our previous episode. Yeah, last time we did this, it came it became a little uh, difficult to keep track of what was what. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to read you all of the Elite Eight. If you don't want to know what they are, if you want everything to keep a secret, just fast forward right now about 30 seconds-ish. But if you want to know what they are, if you want to help keep them, uh, track, then here they are coming at you right now. Number two is Boulevard Saison Brett. Number three, Avec Les Bon Vu from DuPont. Number four. Five is Cela. Number seven, Arctic Saison from Grassroots. Number nine, Firestone Opal. Number eleven, Saison Dupont. Number fourteen, Prairie Ale. Number sixteen, Carnival. We had a lot of fun doing this, and we really had a lot of surprises coming from these uh, various comparisons. But you know, it's hard to keep track. So there you go. If you want to see the entire bracket, you can go on our show notes for this show. That's going to be on fourbrewers.com and. Here's a show. Like you're trying to shit. You're clenching. You're <laughs> exercising your kegels. <laughs> Welcome to Four Brewers. My name is Matt Becker, and as always, I am joined by John Holzer, Jason Harris, Greg Nagel, and we are here for the completion of our Saison Showdown Round Two, the final round. <laughs> <laughs> and Nagel's the new uh, Fred Norris. Yeah. Of, uh, Four I'm sorry, that, that that sounds like a Mortal Kombat like sound the quote. Final round. Okay. <laughs> round finish two. Him. Finish him. <laughs> That's actually my voice. The final rep. The final rep. The final rep. That's your right. Patreon money right yeah. there. <laughs> there we go. All right, enough yeah. of the soundboard. All right, we are here for uh, the Elite Eight. Is that correct? Is that right? Uh, Elite Eight. Is that what the guys Well, we're here for the final round all the way together. Like, yes. We're, we're doing we're, the rest. The, this is show, show number two, the Saison Showdown. We're doing eight. We're doing the final four. And then we're doing the, <laughs> the ter- ter- terrible final twos. Countdown. I don't know. The called. terrible twos. <laughs> the terrible twos. All right. So based on the winners of the last round, uh, we are doing uh, beer number two versus beer number three. So... Oops, Beer is. Dose two. is out here. Beer Dose was a early leader last round. If we go back up here, we're going to be giving two. them. We're going to be giving them new scores at this point. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is Beer Two still Beer Two? Yes. Yeah, yeah. they they've it kept their number. From they last haven't round. been jumbled again. No. no. Okay. All right. No. So, so you beer, can you can we can go well that's kind of weird because I then I can go back and see what I scored well, it. Well, don't. Well, well, yeah. I'm not so, okay, just don't just don't look at it. All right, I stop won't. looking. I'll stop. But beer Why two, you beer two, and beer seven were our early standouts, early leaders. So, but we shouldn't talk about. Let's that. see how they hold up. Well, we're not. We're. We, right. we can compare them to our earlier blind tasting <clears> of them. <throat> that's fair. It's fair. I, but I'm then I don't know. They're, I, they're, I think I should just go back and like apply the same ranking. No, no, let's now let's do them new because I let's mean, let's just not have another show. Let's just uh, do some math. Okay, that'll be good radio. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're not going to look at our previous rankings. Yeah, yeah. What if, I, I, what if I there was a website them. that had I'm like a whole bunch of rankings and we just amalgamated those <laughs> and we just did uh, that? Two of those websites instead of trying them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just why drink beer at all? Oh my god. Um, well, now I'm going to feel weird if I'm like, oh, this beer sucks. And then the last round I gave it like a high school. That'd be hey, amazing. That's what we're doing. Keep that's what we're doing. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm kind of expecting that. Big that wheels keep that. on toying. Again, I'm, okay, beer number two. I don't know what I gave it last time, but it's smelling pretty good. Yeah, it's it's definitely the American hop thing. Um, I think it's more hop than yeast character. I'm getting a lot of like big fruity hop up front. Yeah, I'm still into it, though. It, it, it When it comes to like an American size on, um, size on. Americ- That's fine. Saison. What are you doing? Saison American. Saison, mon ami. <laughs> Saison American. Um, a, a pomme fraiche. <laughs> Creme fraiche. <laughs> Creme fraiche. Pomme frites. Um, it, it's, it's exactly what I'm looking for. This guy's getting uh, I, yeah. straight up 90. I went up and I, um, I, I mentally put my score in my head and I went up and looked at my other one and it's exactly the same. 
Yeah, dude, it, this is. I, we, I give we, everything like a ninety because I just feel oh. like there's a hundred out there. Like I'm. But. Yeah, this is this is really tough for me because this <clears throat> is like two beers I think of equal quality, but it's very like new world style versus old world style. You know, it's number number two. Delicious though. Yeah, number wow. two definitely has that American hopped. Um, I'm gonna assume thirty seven. Excuse me, thirty seven eleven or at least that style. Um, nice. Zach's back there trying to hide his reactions. Um, <laughs> So what, uh, what would you give number one, Matt? Uh, uh, <sighs> and I'm Lewis Black. <laughs> <laughs> I am a craft beer drinker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be drinking beer. <laughs> um, God, uh, n- n- move Ooh, on to someone else. Wow, these are... We're all no, done. Every, everyone else. Dang. <laughs> now it's getting hard. That's yeah. What, that's what it's getting hard. Uh, it's, it's currently hard for these beers. Uh... I like I like number three, but beer number two still is winning it. Yeah, heart. I got I'm I yeah, I'm gonna say ninety five and a ninety. All right. So, they're, they're so both really ninety five for two and ninety that, for three. Yes. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, for me, uh beer number three has way more malt character, which I'm really not looking for in a Saison. Um I did like it the previous round. Um and it also yeah, got three. pretty good scare, score here, but three, I went three 90. Is, three is a little on the skunky. Well, again, it's, we, it's we're, skunky we're getting into the cream of the crop, right? We, we were starting with a field of great yeah. beer, and then we've eliminated half yeah. of that field. And so, so yeah, I'm and kind of with Matt on this. I'll give this one a, a 90 also. Yeah, because yeah. I like it's the first one. It's still great. Like I said, as far as like old good. world styles go, like this is way up there. It's just a little bit skunky. That's what's doing it for me. Let, that's, that's what's drawing it down. So it looks like it the early leader beer number two uh, okay. survives round two and makes it on to the third. Congratulations, beer number two. Beer number two, way to go. <laughs> number two. Yeah, I don't know why I started doing a, a Hulk Hogan impression. <laughs> beer like, no, what you going to do when beer number two destroys you? Matt's like, learn to throw your voice for your friends, fun at parties. <laughs> <laughs> Are these uh, beer number five? Yeah, this is beer number five. All righty. Beer number five versus beer number seven. Johnny Five. Staying alive. See, this has more of like a... <laughs> this. See, the la- the mm. beer number two, as far as American hop, had more of like a citrusy, almost piney type thing. Like this one, uh, beer number five, has more of a tropical, like almost like passion fruity type thing to me. Oh, exactly. Um... Yeah, Not big, as frothy. Big, pa- big passion. It's, all, it's kind of plasticky. No lacing, little, which is interesting. It's got a little bit of a plasticky thing. Definitely. Yeah, yeah it's popping yeah, out. I, I, now I get that plastic. Yeah, that's... Hmm. It's, so not, number, it's not on the flavor, though. It's just number like a little seven the, was the survivor of the close round. Is it that plastic? Was the one that or barely is it, won. Is it more of a funk? Is it plastic or funk? I definitely get plastic. I, d- I definitely get like a chlorophenol thing, but it's only like in the back of the nose. I don't get it on the flavor at all. The flavor... Excuse me. The flavor is actually it's really good, nice. It's really creamy. I don't know. I kind of. I'm kind of. I kind of get plastic um, is like a funk. Almost. Maybe it's in your. Maybe you put it in my head, but I'm getting kind of like a chlorine flavor almost. Yeah, um, I, could, I could say. Cl- I, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I would give. I would give this one a solid eighty-five. Uh, for number five, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it like yeah. a seventy. No, let me try it again. This one definitely has some lemon quality to it. Yeah, like I mean number se- number seven <clears throat> at this point is way more on the like the lemon tart sour type tip. Would you say sriracha AC? Um, no, <laughs> Matt, maybe. Have you had lemon drop as a hop? That's a hop, right? Yeah, that, that is a hop. Yeah. Have you had that yet? I have no, not. Had it that. makes me think somebody was telling me they were trying to be. They're making a beer with single it. hop. Um, but I was like, Lemon Drop, what the fuck? That, just, that doesn't sound good. Ritual, I, I may Ritual heard, is doing one soon, yeah. yeah. I think Lemon Drop is in the uh, the Stone Delicious IPA. Oh, yeah, I think you might be right. Mm. But, yeah, I was like, it immediately makes me think of Sriracha Ace, which makes me think of Lemon Pledge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ooh, I'm, I'm not digging number seven nearly as much this time. I, I'm 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 leaning towards number five with this one. Number seven's pretty light on the aroma. Like there's not a whole hell of a lot going on in mine. Yeah, um, in comparison. And also also keep in mind that the stronger flavors are going to be like a lot more prominent and they're going to as they're, they're gonna they're gonna serve adjust. them a lot better. Yeah. As, as we've <clears throat> you know, imbibed more. Yeah, um, I feel like number seven is just uh I don't know. Cleaner, uh, better constructed. I guess is a little tart too. Maybe yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give seven and eighty. 
Yeah, Standard. I like seven. It's not the strongest beer we've had in the field, but it's definitely solid. Um, I'm digging it more than five for sure. Um, yeah, see, I'm 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 leaning towards five more than I am to seven. Five is um, a little mm-hmm. softer, I think. It's Another, le- less carbonation, more malty, I think. Whereas, <clears throat> um, what's the other one? Seven. Seven. Yeah. That, yeah, it's definitely got a, it's it's more tart. Um, it's definitely more. Got more CO2. It's got a lingering like it, bitterness on it too. Five has a better nose, but then there's there's something on the back that's just kind of torpedoing it a little for me. With seven, it finishes nope. really clean. Yeah, yeah. Compared seven is super bright, like really, really bright. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's delicious. And so five and seven are their own bracket, bracket, right? So yeah. we're just gonna rank according to that bracket. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. I, I could put a, a one for five and a two for seven, and it wouldn't matter. Um. Yeah, it would just really fuck up the average. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But you see what I'm saying? It's just it's just between that bracket for me. So yeah, I mean everyone's giving it like five a uh, seven Does, five. Don't 80. look at everyone else's score. Well, just I'm just saying. Your heart. I mean it's it's a gut feel, man. Five for me is like a seventy. I'll say seventy. Bam, enter. Oh, that was seven. No. Uh, seven. I'll do an eighty, and then five. I'll do a seventy. There I'm doing go. weird scores just because. All right. Yeah. Fuck, well, fuck you guys. Whatever. Um, so it looks like, uh, another close, they were about five points apart, but realistically our scores were real similar on all these, but pretty good beers though. Um, yeah, both, neither of these are bad. I would not kick either of these out of bed. Uh, but honestly though, seven, I'm digging. I could drink, I could drink a lot of this. Seven, the fucking pit fighter of our, of our pool. Yeah. Yeah, It's killing it, man. It it will edged out a fucking win in round one and seven is just again, it's mm. not by a tiny hair and this time, but still real close. You know, this is, I know this is a part two. Um, maybe we should recap the beers again for everyone who may have missed part one. Um, no, mm-hmm. fuck them. No, seriously. Yeah, okay, just just really quick. Ones. Let's just read through the beers really quick. Can we do that, Matt? Or yeah, sure. Is that possible? Uh, let's see here. Um, That's a good idea. Do, do, should have done that. Let me bring up the list. Okay, in case you did not... Um, catch the first episode, you should go back and check that shit out. Honestly, um, let's just let them go back to the first episode. No, let's just read it really quick. It'll, care, it'll, it'll take 30 seconds. If you care about the list, go to the first episode. Go, Matt, go. I'll fi- no, I'll fire it off here real quick. The original field was Anchorage, Love Buzz, Boulevard, Saison Brett, uh, Phantom Saison, Logsdon Saison Bretta, DuPont Avec Les Bon Vu, DuPont Saison DuPont, because DuPont rules, Crooked Stave Sourette, Boulevard Tank 7, Grassroots Arctic Saison, um, Lost Abbey, uh, Carnival. Carnival, thank you, Omegang oh, Hennepin, Brewery Saison Rue, Prairie oh, Ale Prairie. from Prairie, Firestone Opal, Monkish Selah, and Propolis Beltane. There we go. And half of those beers are now gone. That's true. Half of them have been eliminated. We don't one know which one. One of them tastes like burnt Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> um, or burnt Burt Reynolds. Burnt Reynolds. Burnt Reynolds. Burnt Reynolds. Burnt Reynolds. <laughs> Jolly Reynolds. The, by, the by, Burt Jolly Rancher, I wasn't necessarily offended by it. It was just an odd thing. It was weird. Yeah. Burnt Jolly Reynolds. Burnt Ryan Reynolds. All right. So, uh... I'm not making sense. What's going so on? So I want to do a Halloween costume of Burnt Reynolds, and it's just like a, a bandit <laughs> costume, but then with like like He's burnt like Two Face, everywhere. Burnt Victim, yeah, Two Face, mustache. yeah, <laughs> Two Face Burnt Reynolds. <laughs> I'm burnt, burnt Reynolds. Chewing gum, doing burnt. a horror picture with Dom DeLuise. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, what's going on here? Oh wow, Third Ferguson. Because it's what's fair. <laughs> Sorry. Turn that was Two Face. That was Two Face. Uh, so number uh, nine that versus Tommy Lee Jones. Two Face. Number nine. Uh, no. Number nine. It's about what's fair. You when sounded like Tommy Lee Jones when you did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fortune Smiles. Another day, wine and roses, or in your case, beer and pizza. That's the best line from that whole movie. Jesus Christ. That's a great movie. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, I, I'll apologize for he Batman may have, forever. But you may have trouble adapting to their new environment. What, is it, Jim what, what movie is this? Yes, it's Batman, Batman Forever. What's happening here? Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I will deep. say I've un- seen that movie so many times. Unpopular opinion: the best of the original set. Uh, yeah, no, fuck mm. Tim Burton's Batman. No, well, it was it, it, it was Let's beyond the, it was beyond the scope of this show. Number nine. <laughs> number nine. Mm. Number nine. Yeah, number nine's that old world thing that I really like. Like, like I, I just really grassy is. Sarah, Sarah wants to say something. Oh, what's up, Sarah? I just want to point out the hilarity of uh, nine versus eleven. That's 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> that was sad. Inside job. <laughs> Thank you for that, Sarah. This beer was an Thanks inside job. Thanks for bringing job. it down, Sarah. You said you'd never forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Why am I laughing at that? <laughs> this beer is hot enough to melt steel beams. Oh, God. Oh. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Too soon. Too, you, too soon. People are making fun of me for being rotten. I mean, come on. <laughs> Jet feels I hot. Say, no, see, no, see we're, we're, you're just racist. What? <laughs> what? What is he racist? What do you say that's what? racist? Indi- the Indian woman thing? That's bad. Um, Don't bring it up. A little bit. What? Jet fuel um, can't melt steel beams. Number nine. <laughs> number nine. If you would matter. Number you nine. Would know. Number nine? <laughs> number nine. Number nine. Okay, stop, please. We're Thank not you. on enough drugs to think that's a good idea. <laughs> um, I am enjoying number nine. I think the aroma is lovely. It's grassy. It's spicy. And lemony. It's lemony. It is lemony, indeed. Yeah, it's it's got like a little bit of a fruity character, but not. Mm, it's not beating you over the head with it. It's just like, hey, we're, we're fruits. We're here. Come this, hang out see, if you want. This this one is like mm. my like I'm 95. Boom. This is like my jizzing beer. I'm, I'm into it too. I gave it a I gave it an 88. It's Matt's uh, ropes beer. <laughs> ropes, fat ropes everywhere. Fat juicy ropes. <laughs> juicy fat ropes. God, <laughs> that's the name of our collaboration saison. <laughs> juicy fat ropes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Jesus yeah, Christ, I, I, comma fat juicy ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ's juicy fat ropes. Stop it. Stop it. Jesus Christ had to come fat ropes, right? Guys, if, you're, this, if you're the savior of the world, guys, you've got to have the on. meanest ropes. God, like third, feet show, ever. third show. Second 13 show, third show. Third show. Third show. No, I'm, I'm just saying. You're like, Jesus had a total dad dick, right? I bet. <laughs> 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 if you're number Jesus, 11. you gotta have the most awesome. Penis Guys, in the number world. eleven. I'm still number, nine, dude. number eleven. Number nine's delicious. Jesus penis. Hashtag Jesus penis. All right. So comparing these two, um, um, 11's funkier. Um, I like nine way more than eleven. I think eleven has like a residual thing happening. The it's kind of hard to drink. Ooh. I don't think it's hard to 11. drink, but I don't. I don't think it really Not compares to number number nine. Yeah, I would give number nine like a solid Ooh. eighty. Yeah, I think eleven was our liquid bread guy from earlier. Again, that same thing where it's yeah. just kind of the liquid bread ready, and it's it, it's good um, solid beer, but it's just kind of not. Um, number nine, I I'm going towards like a ninety for that. Yeah, I I rank number nine very highly. That's yep, good. Eighty five for me on nine and a fifty on number eleven. Yeah, wow. 11, That's 11. Kind of did not care for it. Yeah, I'll go fifty as well. I wow! I give eleven a seventy, but it, uh, again, yeah, you guys are kind of dumping on. I think it was the bakery beer, beer I, earlier. I, I'm where, revisiting it, and uh, compared to this beer, I'm pretty sure number um, number eleven beat out just oh the really bland beer earlier. So by by being kind of biscuity and bready, it won, but it doesn't have the character to really make it out of the uh, it, out um, of the elite eight. You know, beer always like conjures up, you know, some sort of like old memories. And uh, this one, number 11, definitely has this like visiting a river, um, you know, <laughs> what? like fishing in a river. There's definitely like this, this uh, mossy sort of rock thing happening. Do you, that, do you that translate membrane. this as a good thing? It's marine. It's it's, uh, it's good. evocative. Well, you're, you're conjuring <laughs> memories. Is, yeah, is this yeah. a good memory for you? Yeah. Evocative I mean, is, is a really wonderful beer. But for, a, for a beer? No, nah, not so much. Not not compared to number okay. nine. Number nine just just killed it. Um, in case, oh, by the way, we should mention. Um, in case you are uh, just joining us, or for some reason you didn't listen to the last episode, um, we have uh, assistance being provided by um, Miss Sarah, Mr. Brob Vreeland, and uh, Doctor Zach. So thank you to you guys. Because otherwise, Seriously, you're killing it. otherwise, this would be a pain in the uh, ass, and it wouldn't be blind. The people helping us out right now, to- totally like they're make goddamn us, saints, like legitimate. They're we have having, someone is, from uh, Hangar Twenty Four helping us. Sarah, who's just awesome, and then Doctor Zach, who's this elusive beer geek that is just awesome. Hey, too. Sarah's an elusive beer geek. Uh, we we sometimes no, I called. Mean, did I? I don't. I, we okay. sometimes called Zach a uh, Doctor Whale Farmer. <laughs> Doctor Whale Farmer. Yeah. yeah. MD. Sarah, Sarah, were you? Were you he didn't go to whale farming. Which one is this? <laughs> how would you describe yourself? Didn't go to whale farming school for how, six how, years. How would you describe they yourself, called Sarah? Mister, thank I, you very much. I would uh, say that I'm elusive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, Are you nervous in the service? Uh, Sarah, actually, uh, Sarah, I have a question. Um, being um, one of the primary distributors of these beers, um, were there any like major surprises oh, for you yeah. so far? There were big surprises. 
Really? Um, not just in the ranking, but uh, in the opening of some beers, we are we're uh, kept really? on, we were kept on our toes. Like yeah, <laughs> saisons, man. You were nice. literally yeah. surprised yeah, by saisons. how the beers were open. I literally have beer-soaked socks right now. Oh nice. no! Really? Wow! Oh. Can we like wrench those out into some bo- uh, glasses? Yeah, ring them, ring them out. Really get some oh true funky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Assuming you have funky feet. Gym, yeah. gym socks. I no. think after walking around in yeast-soaked socks, I <laughs> they're probably not. The because you're a nurse. You might need okay. some tough acting to actin. It'll be it'll be it'll be cool I to see. I see better acting and tough acting to actin. Let me know if you want a foot massage. Shaq right. looks like Gross. whoa. Yeah. Uh, number thirteen. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, I ain't be taking a to nothing. Number thirteen. All right, what do I got here? This number oh, thirteen. Thir- Thirteen's thirteen oh, feels more American. Yeah. Um, you can definitely tell number thirteen from its its appearance. The Thirteen is white the lighter of the two, yeah. sort of. Um, yeah, this is this is the one that looked very um, like whitish. It's white. I mean, it's got damn white beer. Yeah. Holy shit! Um, again, I'm getting like a smoky thing off of it that I'm not really. A little bit on the end, I guess. On. It's way on the finish. On the finish, uh, and I mean, being a you're, smoker for years, Matt, you're which I actually, right. yeah, ashtray. Yeah, you do get uh, like a smoky, weird character from it. It's but, not okay. But you know, as far as the beer is concerned, it it's mm. not that it's. That bad with the beer, I still but like it. overall, it's weird that there's smoke in a saison like this. Dude, even sixteen has that too. Like there's some kind of All weird right. phenol that is coming out of this yeast that I'm it's not a yeast thing, right? Really digging on, yeah. Like neither one of these I think are all that what? great. Okay, so what happens with yeast to make it smoky? Um, chlorophenol um, can manifest itself in a bunch of weird ways. So you can have um, you know band aid, plastic. Um, all that like that spectrum can also manifest itself as like smokiness in a weird so, way. So okay. So it's it's like if if it's fermented super hot, if you're under pitched, if you're under oxygenated, like those conditions can produce some really weird phenols, especially with really characterful yeasts like saison yeasts. So that that would be my yeah, that's assumption. Like, that's like the nitty gritty of brewing right there, where. Yeah. Bri- I'm nitty gritty, o- motherfucker. No, I, yeah, no, that's that all. Like, that's the important part of brewing, the boiling it and all that. That's like the easy shit. Yeah, seriously. You know, but the the right oxygen levels and the, oh, the yeah, right man. the right, right pitching rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah making yeah, yeah. making wort is one thing, but fermentation is a whole other thing. Yeah, and seriously. saison is like that's the whole point of making a saison is fermentation. Well, really. saison, saison is all it's, yeast. It's especially yeah. finicky for sure. Um, you know, I, I, I really uh, sixteen compared <clears throat> to thirteen was ooh, yeah for me. Yeah, thirteen. I would give a good seventy. Um, sixteen. I'm not nearly as stoked on. I'm going to give I that love. one a, a six. Uh, uh, I still love fifty five. I'm going to say fifty five. I liked. I liked. Wow, really? I liked thirteen. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but. I um I gave sixteen a little bit of higher rating. Give like a seventy eight. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah, I'll go uh, with eighty five. You, you don't know how to taste beer. Fuck you. <laughs> and then for for six, sixteen was just thirteen. Know. Still, I love. So it's still got a ninety five. Wow. Mm. I could so, drink that beer all day. It's so fucking so good. Extraordinarily hot. Oh my god. Well, now that I'm going back to my it, ratings, I, I just looked back at last round, and my ratings just, are the same, just like up like five points for both. You know, and nice. I, I don't think it's fair it's to judge good. the clarity of the beers at this point because yeah. we're probably getting the bottom of the bottle yeah, at this point. Clarity care. isn't really an issue for me. For it's, a saison, I don't look for clarity. It's that weird Unless it's super thing. clear. Super clear is maybe an Too issue. Too clear is a sign, like maybe yeah, you kind of yeah. Are there any breweries that filter their saison? Yes, uh, um, the, the one that lost earlier. Yeah, I think uh, I think so. It really? looked filtered. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah well, it, it could have been like fined too. Like they, yeah. you know, added a fining, recirculated, and let it uh, settle one out of naturally. Them, it looked like it could have been a pilsner. Well, I mean, when you, yeah. when you fine, you're not gonna take away beer character as much as if you filter right it depends on what finding you use and how much and what and what's in it given like there's, that there's saison is a yeast dependent beer maybe it will affect it i don't know yeah possibly like if you find a whip beer maybe yeah. you're hurting your whip beer yeah po- yeah yeah possibly um all right uh john what was your score for 16 mm, i'll go with the 74 no i'll go with the 70 okay um do you- Enter. There we go. There you go. Yeah, so 13 was still the clear winner. Which... 13 takes the win. Mm. 13's the first beer I finished. Nice. So uh, that mean that sets our final four as 2 versus 7 and 9 versus 13. Is that correct? That's correct. Our, for our beeristas. Kick ass. This is so much fun, you guys. Oh, All my right. Jesus. Final four. 
The final We're round. into the final four. Why don't we not have the final countdown queued up? Because um, you're the content, <laughs> content ID, that's why. You're right, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, uh, so this is number two. I'm being handed. Thank you. Here we go, guys. We are. Uh, I have a prediction for number two. These I think, are all I, number I, think I think I know what number two is. Who does number two work for? Yes. <laughs> Matt. Matt's like I know who number two works for. <laughs> Stop it now, for fuck's sake! Before Here we go, please. Yeah, yeah we don't want the Google. And, and this isn't even the final countdown either. Oh, I mean, yeah, this is like the second to last round. Like, pardon, pardon me. These are the semifinals. God, like, like, <laughs> if we're gonna go out, it might as well be one we're ready. Yeah, seriously, we're in semifinal right now. Yeah, we're, we're going yeah, to break semis. the hangout when there's fucking one beer left. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> to everyone involved in this right thing? now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so so sorry. Oh, you're doing another one. <clears throat> All right, so I was still on the air. We're number. <laughs> we are. Okay. Good. We're on awesome. The, on beer the number two is living on. Beer number two, oh. continuing its powerhouse versus Scrappy number seven, who is fucking Just one hanging on by a thread. dog fights in each round. Yeah, and you know this is a really interesting um, comparison mm. because this is like of the high end beers that we've picked. It, this is the wait. Which one's number two? Um, big glass. Big glass. Yeah. This is number um, two, and this is uh, number seven? Yeah, num- number seven is the tart one. Number two is the more bitter one, or the American hopped one. And that's the interesting thing is, like, this is kind of, like, Here's two where... sides of the new school, you know, where you've got the, you're not going to use bread, you're not going to use, you know, any wild Wine yeast. barrels. Yeah, but you're going to do, you know, like a 37-11 or something like that. You're going to American hop it. That's a very distinct style. This is style. a really, really tough call you know? because yeah. both of these beers I really, really like. Yeah. Okay, and, number, and then, number, and okay, number seven. Which one like has the, the most carbonation? Is that number two? No, taste it. I think we've all got. Oh. But uh, just by taste, like, I think this is number two, and it's got, like, a lot of, like, carbonation on yeah. it. Yeah. Number seven number is two. distinctly more sour. Has, okay. Uh, has considerably right, I just want to make sure I got the right I think right all beers. of our number twos are all in the first I was classes. looking up the final countdown yeah. when I, we were served these best. beers. So. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying this, attention. Th- this is tough, you guys. <clears> like, uh... Okay, uh, uh, for number two, aside from how it just burnt my tongue with CO2. Mm, <laughs> so good, though. <laughs> uh, no, it I, makes I, me giddy. I really think it's going it, to, for me, it hurts this beer because Certain it kind of it scrubs maybe? away all of the taste. Maybe I should shake the shit out of it. Yeah. I think these are warming That's up a little bit said. as well. That's what she said. Boom. Yeah, I'm... Cast high five. I'm I think their carbonation is kind of letting out because the temperature is rising a little bit. They're so relatively cool, though. Yeah. This thing I mean, is really... No, don't get me wrong. They're not warm or anything. Really fucking prickly, though. I'm, li- like I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote number two. I'm going to give number two a 90, number seven, an 85. Man, I'm digging number seven. Well, yeah, I, I'm with John where number two, um, and, and maybe this is just because it's been out for a while, has developed a kind of a prickliness that's kind of taken away from the flavor of mm-hmm. it. Uh, or maybe we're just drunk now. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. So, but does does that prickliness um, affect your score enough uh, it, it, compared to it, number seven? It knocks it down a couple points. Like right now, I'd rather drink seven. Uh, just because, I, I, just, I just because of the CO two. I'm leaning towards two. All right, guys. Well, I'm a, I'm a number two man. I'm a dapper damn man. Ooh. I went ninety on number two, and I went eighty for number seven. They're both really solid. Yeah. What's up, Greg? Up top. Up top, dude. Ugh. It's gonna be a both close round. Uh, we're, we're both scoring. We're all scoring in like the 80, 90 range. Like yeah. Both it's, phenomenal it's, beers. It's gonna be yeah. tough. Yeah. It's gonna be real tough. Definitely what I prefer drinking. Um, I just like I could see myself drinking number two a little bit more. Yeah. Number two is now that I've I I really did uh, swirl it up a lot. Man, that clean kind of um, acidic, fruity. Not bread, maybe a little bready, like Brett character is coming through a little bit. And number two, I feel like mm. this late in the game, the tartness is just kind of hitting for me. So, yeah. 80, I give him an eighty-seven and a ninety. They're both like, yeah, that's it's, yeah, they're that's, we're, it, it's such hair splitting at this point. Yeah, yeah. no, this is 
The tartness kind of is, is uh, it's interesting. It's getting so hard. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely number seven has some oak to it. Talk about yeah. hanging now. Yeah, definitely. And number two's um, got something on the taste that I'm not jiving with. Like it's maybe it's like an oxygen kind of thing happening. Um, hmm. All right, John, you're going to have to score it, dude. I don't know. It's so you're gonna, hard. You're gonna have it's to coming score down it. to me. It is coming down to you. Right. So hurry the it's fuck up and score it. You guys talk and the fuck up. So guys, how do, you, how do you feel about these beers so far? I'm, uh, Dude, number two is just like really jiving with me. So good, right? It really is. It's got like a there. little bit of Saison funk. It's got the spiciness. It's got it's a so nice hop rounded. to it. Yeah. Everything about it. Um, I think I like number seven a little bit more than two. I'm gonna be that guy. All right, uh, pick, pick well, your numbers. I, I pick your numbers, dude. Um, fucking number them, dude. Fucking number them. All right. What? <laughs> what the fuck, man? There, I did it. Yeah, number two definitely has a front yard and a backyard. All right, number two took it. Number yes. two, eighty-eight to an eighty-five. Nice. And, by, and, and by the way, we got, we got a pretty serious reaction out of Doctor Zach for that one. Yeah. Oh my god. Here you go, Bob. But, uh, Thanks, okay, so is this number nine that we're being given? Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. 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 There you go. Number number nine. nine. You'll I've heard. But that your your mic on, is not Sarah. on, Sarah. Go ahead, Sarah. You'll note their baby pours of number nine. Okay. Oh, that's fine. What does that mean? <laughs> that if nine makes it to the next round, it's gonna have to win on number. <laughs> 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 Uh, We're okay with the yeah, pours. It turns out we, when we did the math that when you do four pours times four rounds, um, you, you're not left with much. Yeah, even with 750s. Luckily, most saisons are in pretty large format. Yeah, we had to buy a couple of Crooked Stay. We had to buy a couple. Um, we had to buy an extra Prairie. We had to buy an extra Prairie, and then we got one that was large format. It's yeah. older. So. These mine look almost identical. No, that one looks a lot lighter. That's- from over here. They just kind of take on whatever the background is, though. Okay. Number nine. Looks. Okay. All right. Um. So. Number got nine. Baby pour. Very, very light in color. Like, looks almost like a. Really, yeah. Like a Celis white. Um, it's getting funkier as it's. Uh, it is. It's getting funkier, and it's also got more, like, noble pop to it, wow. which I really like. Smell, smell both of these, like, one after the other. Yeah, there's there's barrel. Yeah, thir- thirteen definitely has more of the tart, barely thing, like more of the Brett vibe. It's oh man, this is tough to pick because it's, <laughs> er, they have different keep, qualities that are are fine, but and yet they're almost exactly like the same color. Like I think thirteen is a little bit darker, but thirteen's got a little more CO two on it. I actually, come to th- uh, like on the flavor, like nine does not have a nobly thing happening. It has like. A little bit of noble hop, but not nearly as much in the aroma. It's I think I'm American. liking nine like more fruit, than thirteen. Fruitier. I really think nine. Mm, yeah. Um. Yeah. Thir- yeah. Thirteen has a little bit of that smoky thing. Uh. I'm gonna go. Uh. Number nine. I'm gonna say. Eighty-five. Uh. Number thirteen. I'm gonna give an eighty. Those are the exact scores I gave him. Oh, shit. And tied. <laughs> <laughs> I, we all tied. Okay, I'm just going to... Uh, blind. We, we, blind. We all tied. I think you went opposite. Oh, really? Okay. You went 80 on number oh, nine okay. and 85. We, I unhigh five you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't but still. Can, cancellation high five. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's that, like the... Number, like number the, thirteen the, is definitely more of that like funky like, just like Brett influenced, but it's it's smoky. It's got that weird that's smooth and all like that. You are like really good it. at picking up smoke, man. The yeah, finish on it, it, God it's damn it! Once things. you say it, I get it. Like the like hair, the, the hair thing. that thirteen loses by is that the finish is just a little bit. You know, maybe it's smoke. Mm-hmm. It's just. But not smoking like a Roush beer, but like ashtray. Yeah, a little it's, bit. Ashtray it's got a weird. It's got a weird phenolic thing happening at the at the very back. Yeah. Um, All right, so it looks like so number nine is the uh, winner. Again, by a hair, these guys Just weren't. barely. Yeah, just barely. So the final round. The final round is number two. Okay, wait, wait. All right, do uh, it. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. What? Uh, uh, oh, God damn, my computer. Yeah, ser- <laughs> seriously. Come on. The final round is number two versus... 
number nine. Uh, go, Greg. Pixies on battles. <coughs> the final round. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a shit show, you guys. Come on. Go, Greg. John, seriously, turn it off. We're going to get fucking knocked We're off fine. YouTube. We're fine. We're yeah, fine. Seriously. And it's not a very good song. Dude, the last time <laughs> that happened, it was like... You're in <laughs> <laughs> The final round. Seriously. Furbers. Yeah, no, it's... it's it, okay. It, let's, the let's novelty of that song wears off like 30 seconds in. Yeah, let's stop the... Okay. I oh my god! To, I swear to God, John. I swear to God. John's, I have the John capability. Dump a beer I swear on the look at this guy. John's committed to annoying us so much that he doesn't that's care a, if it kills the whole fucking uh, hangout. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what the fuck is? <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is a, a palate cleanser <laughs> from jo- from uh, Bob Vreeland, which is it's Pepto Bismol. Um, we're drinking it. This is, yes, we are. This, this is, is a, a nuclear, um, um, a hot pink. Anybody watching the Hangout? This I is believe- a Mike's Hard Lemonade? Yeah. Hard hey, Matt, Pink Lemonade? Hard Pink Lemonade. Hold it up to that camera right there. It's delicious. Like, everyone. That's what we just got so served. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think this is the equivalent of getting uh, I, for one, iced. welcome our new beer overlord. <laughs> We're doing it. it. We're getting a palate cleanser. All right. No, cheers it. Cheers it. Pepto- We're doing cheers. a shart. Yeah. Hey, Braylon, here's to you guys. Here is to all of our Saison ears for helping us with this. Because the Saison this is ears. the fucking best. <laughs> it's like an Imagineer. Mm. Yeah. That tasted like uh, la- uh, like taffy, like ninety five, yeah. ninety five, <laughs> like fruit roll ups. Yeah, I give it a wow. one hundred. Mm. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, that's yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a malt a beverage, shivered. isn't it? <laughs> shivered. That is certainly is that a four loco malt beverage. <laughs> malt beverage with natural flavors. See, I can make you guys laugh on the IRC. I can make you laugh in person. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's Bob Reeland, Mrs. Stoutfire himself. <laughs> Serving us beers. Forever known as Mrs. Stoutfire. Um, all right. So we're into the final two, uh, man. Dude, beer number two that, and beer number nine. I, I didn't think I'd be so stressed out about this, but like this is a this really is a tough time. call. Like, uh, holy upset shit. is what number was third place? Yeah, uh, as far as like a... scores go, who is we got to figure out who we've already done. Was. We're at that also, point. Also, I'm we're looking th- back earlier. I think we mixed up number thir- seven would be. Third I think place. we mixed up thirteen and fourteen. Really? Because uh, thirteen we gave a straight up fifty. So the one that we've been calling thirteen is actually fourteen. But okay. either way, okay. Should right. we? Fi- can we fix that right now, just so it's fixed? Sure. Okay. So it was actually nine and fourteen we were comparing. What's that noise? It's oh. Matt's fucking. Dude, wash my face. Get your dick. And balls off the microphone, please. But they smell good. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Do so, we have? Do we so have the final round? Number two. We were pretty much. So out which one? Of. Which one is, is this, this? Is this number two? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Remember, Sarah came Numero inside two. and said, "Note that we poured less of number two, and then okay. now it went on." Um, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, no, it was number nine, not number two. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. That's correct. So wait, this is nine or two? It's nine. Okay, the yes. second one. Gotcha. All right. So this I just is number nine. That pink stuff, by the way. This is number nine. Itty bitty four is number nine, and then the bigger four is number two, yes? Yes, that is correct. All right. You know the cool thing is about this room? You don't know what time of day it is. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's like a casino. <laughs> it totally is. You should get casino carpeting in here. <laughs> PDX carpet. <laughs> So we've really got room for like maybe two sips of number nine. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it is what it is. Number nine, dude. Yeah, number nine. It's it's I, number nine to me is about the best example of that new school American hopped, no Brett. As far as I can tell, I may be embarrassing myself saying there's no Brett in this because there probably is. Um, but it's that like. You know, nouveau style that you know all the nanos are putting out, where they've got, you know, American hops, they've got saison yeast, put them together. Can, tastes I, great. can I smell your beer, Matt? I just want to make sure I got the right one. Okay. Okay, I do. Okay, thank you. Yeah, see, number Uh-oh. nine has like a certain like creaminess to it that I really dig, but uh, oh, shit. Okay, it's um. Erg. All right, so this is so difficult. 
Um, I uh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I think two edges it out by a little bit. Um, there's a certain arm pity kind of thing that I'm getting from number nine. That I I think number two number two takes it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say number two. I'm gonna give number two a 100. Wow. I'm gonna give number nine a 90 because they're both delicious. Hmm. But yeah, number two, number two edges it out. Which one is this? Number two. Numero dos. So um, number nine was more funky, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. This is so. <laughs> like <everyone's laughs> yeah, they're they're all watching us now. I gotta switch cameras. Hold on. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Uh, the poristas. We're, we're right. whispering. Oh, so, <laughs> so who's, who's gonna win, you guys? Who's gonna yeah, win, John? Uh, this one? Uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Here's all of our, 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 all of our, all, all our here is on camera. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, let me fix it. Just, okay. just let me fix it. God damn it. Just let me fix it. Mm. All right, people. Um, what well. are your scores, John? It's coming down to you, John. The internet is waiting. Belgium Beer Day. It's really up to me. You can, swing, you can swing this thing, John. It's up to you. Now it's up to you. John's going to be like, 101. I just won. <laughs> I fucked up. I, I did the math. <laughs> Fuck all of you guys. <laughs> this is number two, right? We're using an yes. average formula. Number two in a... Dead uh, air, John. Come on. We got dead air here happening. Two, uh, do it. But what does John think? What does the John say? I do like wow, the funk pow, pow, of pow, number pow, nine. Pow. Yes. Um, Who doesn't? I'm not trying to extend this out. I'm just trying to... Like, you guys went so fast on this. Yeah. It, it well, was, it was a pretty quick and dirty thing for me, so... It was kind of dry. <laughs> Everybody drink now. <clears throat> well, I'm out of beer. Uh, yeah, so you gotta decide. You have no choice. Oh, shit. Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Uh, this is what I've been reduced to, Saison. John. Like, Saison. <laughs> <laughs> Your Barry White Saison voice. Saison. It's very sexy. See, I, I kind of like the funk of number nine a lot now. Like well, cool. Pick two. it. All right. Just give it a score. score. Make, make give a it damn decision. Don't believe me. There. Just John. 90 to 91. All right. Number two by a, by a little bit. By a squeak. By, by a hair. Number two a win. is the victor. Number two wins. So we want, we want to know. Um, Wait. So. Hang, hang on. Before we do this, can I pee? Yes, we're gonna yeah. take a yes. pee break because I also have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then and then we'll reveal in like order. Let's yeah, reveal. Well, yeah, number so. one, two, three, four. Hey, you guys, I'm keeping the mics open. All right, All right. so yeah. everyone can hear us. Don't right. tell any of up, our guys? fucking dirty four brewers secrets. All right, we're back. We have the results. I think uh, what I would like to do is reveal the finals, um, but I want to reveal the loser and then the winner. So, I'm so wait. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's what? been such a long that road. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, that we've or, got, or, or are we gonna are we gonna start from the top and work back? I want to. Let's just do like yeah. Let's start from the winners and then move back. All right. So, um, so the final two were number two and number nine. Number two won out. What was number nine? Number nine was Opal. Holy really? shit! Really? Firestone wow. Opal. Wow. wow. Firestone wow. Opal nice. brought. Into the final two. No shit. Fucking Firestone Walker. All right. I'm glad I brought that in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good on you. Very I surprising. I, I really would have been like, it's a damn good eh, beer. It's not rated very highly. We, it, it was one of the ones we had to pluck from obscurity. Yeah, it was. That was that. That all right. Yeah. We. I think maybe we kind of poured a little heavy with that one because we didn't think it was going anywhere. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> shit. All right. In that case, our victor number two. Boulevard say some bread. Oh, yeah. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the second highest uh, amalgamated score as far as beer advocate and, um, and uh, rate beer scores out of all of them. Fucking A. Opal stays, right on, on. But stays on bread, dude. Opal I'd... was the uh, fourth from the bottom of the of the field, though. 
Uh, it yeah. came in in basically it wouldn't have made our field if we did it by pure ranking. It only made the field because it got pulled out. Yep. The, we had other beers like that got thrown out, like Upright Seven and a few other beers that were replaced by Opal, and Opal went all the way to the end. That's yeah, fucking crazy. Cool. That's pretty good, good on them. Yeah. Firestone, amazing. Firestone apparently kicks fucking, ass yeah. at Fort Brewers Blind Challenge. Yeah, no no shit. doubt. Fi- fi- you got you to give it to Firestone Walker because like Saison is so far from their wheelhouse, and yet <laughs> they still kill it. You yeah. keep, you yeah. keep saying Saison. That's fine. Size on. Size on. Is that, is that size on the right? Works. I mean, I don't, probably it's not. It's just says yeah. on. I don't Jason, know. It's um, season. Just say season, man. Jason, while we're revealing these, could you fill in the actual name of the beer in place of their number on the sheet? Sure. That would be radness. Um. All right. So, uh, in the semifinals, nope. we had. Uh, let's see here. Thank you. We had uh, Opal, and we also had Saison Brett. So Saison Brett beat out number seven. What was number seven? Number seven was Arctic Saison. Oh, oh okay. That was delicious. Still made it pretty close to the last round. So, um, Jason, are you updating the um, Google spreadsheet on the audience? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. And then Opal beat out number 14. What was number 14? Prairie Ale. Prairie Ale. Wow. Oh. Hey. Prairie uh, Ale, I, of, even of Prairie Beers, is one of the least heralded. Um, you got to love it, man. Like, yeah. I, I have a soft spot for Prairie. I'm not going to lie. Um, that pretty much kicks ass. All right, so let's go to the previous round. Um, that would be round number two, the Elite Eight. So, uh, oh, okay. Saison, so the, Jason's filling in the numbers of the actual with the actual beer name. Yeah, it, it, which doing. is which is kicking ass. All right, okay. all right. So, I'm, I'm just gonna go back to the uh, Google spreadsheet for anyone who's um, watching this. So all right, sweet screen cap. All right, so in the Elite Eight, um, the first bracket was Saison Brett versus number three. What did Saison Brett beat out? Avant Les Bon. Uh, what? Avant les bons. Avant les bons vous. Avec les bons vous. Avant les bons vous. Yeah, okay. Uh, keep working, keep working, work on your French. Soir. Work on your French. Um, we had Arctic Saison beat out number five. What was number five? Salah. Wow. Oh, ah, that's, yeah. yeah made, it, made it another round. All right. I'd like to point out that I rated Selah higher uh, than Arctic Saison in that round. So <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> in case Henry's watching. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it was Opal, pretty highly rated, though. Opal beat out, uh, what number is that? Uh, number 11. 11. What was number 11? Saison Dupont. Yeah. Wow. Right. Just yeah. going, going Opal, back to Selah, I gave Selah a 70. Yeah. 76 here. Uh, um, sorry, Andy. middle of the road. All right, so that that's pretty big though. Opal beating out Saison Dupont. No doubt, that's that's no pretty doubt. big. And that's then a, um, when our eyebrows started. Also, Saison well, Dupont was well, the one. I, that I Greg would say it started early. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Dupont was the one. Greg and John gave a fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't High five, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was something missing out of it. Right. I, I Fuck know. those Belgians. What are they missing? Yeah. I think and it was then, it was missing the saison. Yeah. part of it. You know, <laughs> something like that. Uh, uh. And then Prairie Ale beat out number sixteen. What was number sixteen? Carnival. Carnival. All right. Wow. Yeah, Carnival our, our did late, not. Our late sub made it yeah. to the second round, though. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, so uh, let me see. Let me fill in the bracket real quick. Pause. All right. Point. So. No, I think um, we've had some pretty we've had some pretty serious like um, defeats here. I mean, the Saison Dupont versus Opal that's a big one. That that really kind of blew my mind. Arctic Saison versus Sela. I did not like Sorette. Yeah, and see, that's another thing. It's like I thought I, I had thought that that like really bright like fresh one that was uh, so Sorette went out in round one. Yeah. It yeah. was really, it was sour, I right? gave it a 50. Oh, my God. It was sour. That's the sour one, right? That was the one that was, like, super sour. Super, and super I, sour. I have all the variants of Surrette, too. So, well, then we better drink them. God Let's do it. a Surrette show next. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're uh, familiar. Yeah. Sorry, Chad. Well, I mean. Damn. All right. So, like, the final round. Okay. Saison, it's it's, not, it's well. not you. It's me. It's, it's fi- my fi- palate. Final I round. Um, Saison Brett uh, beat out Hennepin, which eh, is not super surprising. Um, Avec uh, beat out Surrette, and fuck you, Jason, because I knew Avec was good. Um, uh, Sela yeah. beat out Phantom. I'm guessing Phantom was the one that was not particularly cooperative. Phantom was the hot mess that we all hated, but no. I mean, that's typical for Phantom. Yeah, you can get good tomes and you can get bad tomes. Yeah, they're super spotty. Well, like, Sarah, you, never you, know you said get. your socks got full of yeast. Which mm. one was that? That was Logsdon. Um, <laughs> Holy Saint shit, Zon was it really? Really? It really? Was, really? Uh, Bob Reland huh? opened it up. It was one of the waxed ones that were lightly waxed, so he could still use the 
Right, yeah. Claw thingy. Um, and uh, he only got it partially open, and all of a sudden, just <laughs> beer everywhere. It was oh. like he opened a faucet of beer, and we were holding towels and plates. You don't have any towels, by the way, left. Um, <laughs> my it, it got long, it's log, logs and jizz all over him. Because set. Breland is a professional, he did not get soaked at all. Stayed <laughs> dry as a bone. Well, he's got that special Hangar 24 shirt on that is... Uh, it's, it's, got, it's, it's like got a built It's like, like a space blanket. It's like Scotch Garden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's, let's finish these off, guys. Uh, Arctic Saison beat out Tank 7. Uh, Opal beat out Love Buzz. That's so really Ar- interesting. In Arctic Saison around. fucking way. Uh, of no, yeah. Arctic Saison Tank Seven was our dogfight. That was like the two, or that was the two that were. Oh no, yeah. I'm sorry, it was Opal Love Buzz. Sorry, that was the one that they were. It beat it out by a hair. Yeah, just barely. Opal Love, yeah. yeah. Those are good um, pairs. Wow. Saison Rue was eliminated pretty early by Dupont. Um, Beltane eliminated pretty early by Prairie Ale, and, and Carnival was uh, eliminated by Saison. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Saison Breda was eliminated by Carnival. Of note, real Not early on. Beltane is our lowest scoring of the field. That's so, true. Uh, it was. So, lends testament to the GABF just draws a beer name out of a hat and says, <laughs> you win. <laughs> or, or, or it very well could have been like, that was just a different batch, that was conditioned differently, true. et cetera, et cetera. You know, there's, I there's, feel like there's a lot of GABF gold medal winners that you're like, Really? When you drink, yeah. Them. Well, but it, also with GABF too, a lot of times breweries will brew like a small batch on like their pilot system to send just to GABF. That That's type true. of shit. So, so, so round two, uh, round two was uh, Saison Brett and Evic Lemon Blue. Yeah, which which Saison Brett took. Okay, close. I want to point out that I rated Saison Brett higher, uh, but even then, I still, I did as well. Yeah, I, I did not rate Carnival very well in that round. I rated Prairie Ale much higher. Um. Well, now now we've got all opals in there. Thanks, yeah. somebody. <laughs> you guys, this was amazing. Like, somebody I, hit Control Z. <laughs> oh. um, that wasn't me. Wasn't me. John. It wasn't me. I I just changed the width of a, a column. Spreadsheets, you guys. Well, that was Matt. That was totally Matt. All right. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Thanks, man. Opal, 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 opal. Opal wins. Opal wins. Opal by a landslide. Give me your phone, man. Uh, here, there you go. Um, just hit undo. Jason, just stop. Just undo stop. and undo. All right, uh, you guys, this was awesome. There you go. Um, Fix it. Once again, really like, awesome. Such massive thanks to our saison ears, Doctor Zach, Bob Vreeland, Miss Sarah. Um, we couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. Guys. So the the final one was Boulevard Saison Britain Opal. Yes. And they Ooh, they, they, were, they were I mean probably two of the easiest ones to buy. No shit. Um, at Why? least on the Saison West Coast. Saison Brett is limited release. Is, yeah, but it's even a once a year thing. Though, it was at all the stores. It? Yeah, it's 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 a once a year thing. Yeah, once a year. Both yeah. of which I could go down to Total Wine and not have people flying them off the shelves. Though, yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah. So um, I, I yeah, Saison Bread as far as in Riverside at La Bodega. I mean, it was probably three stacks deep, four columns. Mm-hmm. Like it was, there was a lot of Saison Bread on the shelf. So, and I mean, wh- wh- when did Tank Seven come out? Tank Seven is a year. Oh, that, round that, that was no. Well, that was a first round drop. Oh yeah. Oh, well, but sucks. going up against going up against Arctic Saison, that says a lot. Tank it's, Seven. So yeah. Like, if if well, you were taking Tank Seven well. score and put it into the later rounds, it, it would have gone pretty yeah, far. I, I yeah, I gave Tank Seven a hard first round. I yeah. gave Tank Seven a seventy-five. I think that's okay for me. Yeah. 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 It averaged an eighty-one for us. So like, I mean, Tank Seven was one of those ones that just got a hard matchup. Yeah. yeah there's a Z in there now too, but. <laughs> What? <laughs> Says on Breda got a Z from Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it undo. It undo, Greg. Yeah, just undo. Just undo it. Um, there you go. <laughs> all right. Wow, you like move we your cursor. Really, sh- we really <laughs> shit on Says on Breda like early on. I didn't um, really care for it. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, this was awesome. Like <clears throat> I I'm gave so it an eighty. To have like I this, gave it an eighty. Yeah. That's all I'm, I, I'm, I'm so glad to have like these. Like amazing beers put side by side. So uh, our saison ears. Thank you again. Also, this was great. I just want to talk one one more beer that I love. Okay, Surette. Uh John and Greg hated it. Wow, that's what I it said. It was sour. Sour. Yeah. No, I said that, and I have a bunch of Surette variants. Yeah. I like it on its own, but uh, is it a saison? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's wine barrel aged, but it's really really sour compared yeah. to what my expectation of a uh, saison. And honestly, would be. yeah. I mean, Surette Crooked Stave is a relatively young brewery, um, and 
that was kind of part of their reserve society or whatever they re- they're calling their thing. Well, no, all those ones you have are because you have all the weird barrel aged variants. Yeah, because you're well, like, that, you've got like, the like a new Which vintage. we're going to do a show next. <laughs> That's right. Crooked all John's variants. Crooked State variants. All warm. <laughs> <laughs> all warm, all to the dome. Uh, um, I'm just saying, uh, maybe it was, what was that like a 2014 Surrette or? Yeah, yeah, those are just it was bottles the most, right off the shelf. Yeah, the most current oh, okay. one that we can All find right. in stores. So. Well, then I'm not going to say what I was going to say then. All right. Yeah. Right on. Uh, thank you again, you guys. This was awesome. Uh, if you want to find us online, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, Kick Drums. <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> that was all an angle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If you want to get in touch with us directly, you can uh, hit us at uh, feedback at fourbrewers.com. Uh, drink stays on. Brew the shit out of it. You fucking assholes. <laughs> since when is, since when, wait, when did you become Gilbert Gottfried? <laughs> Welcome to Four Brewers. My name is Matt Becker. As always, I am joined by... Greg Nagel. It was more... John Holzer. <laughs> Jason Harris. I was more Louis Black. That's what I was going for. <laughs> okay. I'm Jason. I'm Bob Harris. Freeland. You never notice Gilbert Gottfried and Lewis Black are like just a slightly less, more or less nasal version of each other. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta squint your eyes really hard. Oh, God. Yell like you're trying to shit. <laughs> you're clenching. You're exercising your kegels. 